Hi, we're here again at GTI Spindle Technology. We did this review on the iPad Vibration Analyzer early this year when we were in the development stage. I uh, want to show you the final stage of the process that we've completed. We put a clean looking industrial case on the unit. Uh, we've also eliminated the battery pack that we showed you in the other video. We had to run from the accelerometer into a battery supply and then into the um, iPad. We've also refined the application as well. The software signal scope has come up with what we call spindle scope. And as you can see here, open the app. Looks a little bit different than the last one. Um, gives us full frequencies on the bottom. A list of the top ten by their uh, highest of amplitude down. Also gives us overalls. Uh, obviously not getting much of a reading here because the spindle is just running the air through it right now. But you can see we do get some measure of vibration spectra there. Also, we're able to send out the data in a much better format. We can save a graph to PDF files, which uh, can be downloaded through iTunes. Uh, also, can save the graph to photos and email straight from the iPad, which makes it most versatile. We also have a web app uh, that we're using to find bearing frequencies so that if you know what bearings are in the product you're measuring, you can actually identify the bearing frequencies right through uh, the application. Also, just a real quick look at the back. This is where the special analog to digital cable is contained in the iPad. It's very, very portable. Uh, we're also going to have a strap made so that uh, when taking data around the plant, you can hang from your neck so it supports it a little better. But for the most part, we will be showing this at the IMTS show uh, the middle of this month, September, uh, and we'll be giving one away as well. Uh, so that is the iPad. Vibration Analyzer by GTI Spindle. You can find us on the web at www.gtispindle.com.